Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 9, Football Manager 20, our journeyman series, Climbing the Ladder. So, uh, just coming back a little early, we, uh, we're, we're still well away from the uh, start of the season, but a few things to bring you up to date on. So, uh, the club let me go on to a coaching badge, so that is very good. And uh, so that's happening, so that's excellent. Uh, the board reached out to me and said, hey, do you want to uh, have the club turn professional? So we're waiting on final word for that, but that's going to be awesome. We should hear about that in about two weeks. So hopefully we're able to afford it. And uh, I think that would be great because then you go to full-time training and a lot of things along those lines. MacArthur broke the scoring record, of course. Adam Murphy, our old uh, veteran leader, had the record with 16 goals. Uh, Sandy scored 26 goals. Uh, he also had seven Player of the Match awards, which broke the record of six set by Frazier McGregor. And uh, that happened. Johnson had 18 shutouts, which smashed Gregor Dugan's record of 13 uh, from last season or the season before what else is going on uh, Jody Ransom we gave him a new contract uh, we did let quite a few coaches go we set a new club record with the fewest losses in a season with five it doesn't tell us what the old record was and also two draws is a new league record Ray Devaney was the league two player of the year Seven goals, 16 assists, and 27 starts. So that was awesome. Our field was relayed, so the field condition is now perfect. With Jack Jones leaving the team, we had to select a new vice captain. Uh, they wanted Ray Devaney, but his teamwork is only five. So he's not very much, he's very much an individual player. So Jody Ransom was a much better selection to me. Uh, we tried to bring in some released Scottish players, the youngsters. Uh, all of them rejected the trial offers. And the league window has opened. So Chris Dennis, one of our young uh, strikers, not too bad, not too bad, but, you know, three and a half star. Uh, we just let his contract uh, expire, and he moved on to Lockheed United. And eight players coming in. So just wanted to take a look at the main screen so we could see the fan grade. So Callum Monroe, an 18-year-old striker. Uh, he is Scottish. He has decent physicals, five-star potential, three-star current ability, which is big. Very good finishing, decent first touch. He can take free kicks. Off the ball, leadership, his mentals are actually really good. Only five foot seven, so he's not going to be big at heading the ball. But uh, he's not going to play poacher. But he is coming in, 18 years old. So we got a C-plus on him. Uh, they're calling him a replacement for Adam Murphy. Uh, then Roy Dell Smith, a 20-year-old midfielder. We got him also on a free. Uh, two and a half star current ability. We got a B-minus. And let's take a look at him. Uh, he can play center back. He can play defensive mid. Central mid is his main position, uh, natural. He can also play up at the number 10. His physicals are just on the low side of average, but he's got really solid mentals, decision, determination, work rate. Passing is really good. First touch is brilliant. And uh, so I like him a lot. I think he's going to be a very good player to add into the midfield with uh, the guy that we've already got there. Sam Cooper, a winger. I'm not sure if I'm going to play a wing this year, but we get a B grade on him. He's 20 years old, also on a free. He can play all the positions down the left side. He actually can cross the ball decently, and he can pass. Uh, dribbling's actually average, so he could play that left back position on attack and be back there but left wing is his natural position pretty solid i like him 20 years old uh D damiano de carly a 20 year old center back a b plus could become a key player take a look at him he is a 20 year old scottish player and 
pace and acceleration a little on the low side, but he's solid at defending. I think he could be decent depth uh, at center back there. And again, we're still low level, so you know, could he be at the higher levels? No. Uh, 19-year-old winger John Reynolds, we got a B minus on him. Uh, he's on the right side. Uh, again, pace is really good. He's got better physicals, very good crossing. That's Ray Devaney's spot, though, so likely Reynolds will not start, but he could play left as well. He could. Uh, that would be more of an inverted type position, but we got a B minus there, and I think it was more of a depth signing. Uh, attacking midfielder Kyle Christie, we got a B minus on him. Uh, he is a free as well. Very good physicals, great crossing, decent passing. Um, you know, he's four star potential. Mainly, I got him because he was a young Scottish player, and you know, he's got some ability. Don't think he's going to be great. Jamie Wallace, another center back, twenty years old on a free. Uh, take a look at him. Again, decent physicals. Acceleration's a little low, but at least he's got the pace. And marking, tackling, uh, heading is solid, but he can also play on the left. So he could fill two slots for us. And last guy is Albin Krasnicki, 22-year-old diminutive winger. We got a B grade on him. Uh, he actually looks really good. This is a guy. Um, so Ross County is our senior affiliate, right? They were going to release five players. I looked at all five of them. All five of them were really good players. And he uh, he was the only one that was interested in talking to us. Five-star potential, four-and-a-half-star current. He might be better than Ray Devaney, but he's five foot three. That's incredible. Um, my wife's taller than that. That's funny as hell. Um He's got an eight passing, ten first touch. He can dribble well. He's got. He's actually got some flair. I don't know. He might be good enough to unseat Ray Devaney, but I'm going to have to look and see if we can make one of these guys on the left side or possibly in the center because um, I'd like both of them on the field. But anyway, that's what we've got now. I've got to go in and look at um, – what else we need. I don't know that we'll be able to afford a whole lot. Uh, we did get rid of quite a few players. Uh, well, only Chris Dennis. And then we brought in a large chunk of guys. Now, we did have five, five or six contracts expire. So, you know, we have opened some roster space. But anyway, also going to look at bringing in some, some – uh, some lone players, hopefully from Ross County. We're going to look at them. I'll look at them off camera, and uh, we've got a little ways to go, so uh, we'll be back uh, when we get some more news. Uh, so just taking a look at the early run of games, we had a 3-2 friendly win over Stronrau. Uh, Ray, uh, I'm sorry, Brian Jones with a penalty, Callum Monroe, and an own goal gave us the 3-2 win. We actually beat Queen of the South 3-1. Uh, Mark McKenzie, Jamie Wallace, Kenny Avenel with goals. Kenny has been big in the early going. A 2-1 loss to Falkirk in the League Cup. Brian Jones scored again. They got two late goals. And this is something I have seen we've seen happen throughout this save, or or FM20 with me at least, is losing late leads. Um, just not not being able to hold on. And it's typically against teams that we're outclassed by. Uh, just more depth, more talent, whatever it may be. Uh, we beat our, um, this is one of our junior affiliates. We beat them 8-0. I played a full rotated squad uh, to rest them up for between Falkirk and Livingston. We still won 8-0. Sandy MacArthur with a brace. Stephen McFarlane with four goals in the match. Four goals in a 12-minute span. That's pretty awesome. John Reynolds with a goal and Brian Jones with a late goal. Seven of those, it was 7-0 at halftime. And their player didn't get sent off till the 86th minute. We lost to Livingston 2-0. After we lost this one, I knew it was going to be a tough run-in. We uh, So I, 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 tr I tweaked our tactics a little bit for both of these. Um, this one, I just went with our standard... Uh, 
um, home tactic. I'm sorry, our away tactic. And so this one we went the attacking tactic because we were favored and we were at home. This one I went with the big away again the away against a bigger club and we lost 2-1. This one I went with just the flat away and we lost 2-0. And then uh, I went with the attack the attacking, but I went from attacking to cautious and we won two nil Kenny Avenel with two headers off of corners. So we, we, we outshot them surprisingly, but the only two goals came off of set pieces and our center back put them both in the net. So I don't know how viable that's going to be as a, a plan of attack for the year, but we will find out. So we're going to play air United uh, just kind of to remind you, uh, we are expected to reach the fourth round, so get one win in the William Hill Scottish Cup. Be competitive in the Communities Cup. We did win two of the four games, even though we were knocked out in group stage. And then be competitive in the Earnbrew Cup as well. Uh, taking a look at the league, the season preview, we're picked to finish eighth at 30-1. to 1, So pretty heavily over air and queen of the south so those are teams that we should beat we should be semi-competitive against teams like brora and then the other clubs we're going to be pretty outmatched so you know we're going to have to kind of play it on the fly this year and see how these tactics hold up uh, tactically we'll still be playing uh, that is going to be our home tactic uh, standard that's going to be on attacking that's the only thing i i changed at that last match but I think we may go with the attacking, cautious if we're playing a bigger team. Same thing here, attacking or cautious. And then against the top two or three clubs in the league, we'll go with this uh, heavy defensive. We'll see how that works out. That's kind of the game plan. But uh, anyway, let's get into it. We're only going to do the one match today because we did have the transfer window. Standard stuff. We're on the road. We're slight underdogs. So we're going to play our away tactic. We're going to keep that as it stands. And let's see. We're going to be going with uh, Monroe and Jones up top. Do I want you? Yeah, Jones came in. God. If we take a look at these guys, if we do the drop down. Yeah, that's not what I wanted. What I wanted to look at was... All right, Jones, Monroe, MacArthur's actually our number three option, and Kyle Christie is our number four option at striker. So I think I think MacArthur's going to play a lot this year. I just don't know how much. I may have to try to rotate him in more on a more regular basis. Now, this is an issue. So Krasnicki came in. And he is actually much, much better than Ray Devaney. But I really like Devaney. Let's look at Brindle. Do a comparison with Ray Devaney. As a winger on attack. So crossing or equal. Devaney's better at dribbling. First touch, Brindle. Devaney's got a lot of advantages in there. Much better pace. Better anticipation. A lot more determination. Devaney's a lot better off the ball. I think what I'm going to do with Devaney, I think what I'm going to do with him is I am going to go into training and midfield left winger attack and we're going to start training him on the left side see if we can get him a little bit better and then he can fill in at both spots i think that's going to be the goal if he can't he just may be a casualty uh, because again i think that guy that we've got is just a much better player in krasnicki Let's do a comparison on them real quick. 
And that is midfield, winger, attack. So let's see. Pace, acceleration. He's slightly more physical, the new guy. All of the mental stuff that Ray Devaney had over Brindle. Krasnicki's just a lot better. Except at leadership. Except at leadership. But his work but this guy's work rate's much better. Flair's right there. Anticipation's slightly better. Teamwork is a hell of a lot better. So first touch is better. Dribbling's better. Crossing is a little lower, but you know, just as good, but his passing's better. Yeah, I, I think we've got to go with Krasnicki there. I don't think I can justify. Uh, we did bring Johnston back. I couldn't find another keeper, uh, and I didn't want to go up, so we were able to get him on a free. Oh, that's something I want to look at. Uh, Ross County? Let's see if they've got any of their reserves listed for loan got a lot of gray players that's that's the problem these guys are transfer listed yeah there's there's not a lot there looks like our team report expired so we're going to do we're going to get team reports again this is just a quick way that your scouts will compile data and it'll give you some information on who's loan, who's listed for loan and things of that nature. So we'll check that out. Um, I just want to try to get a few more players in if I can get some quality players. But uh, anyway, we are. All right, so Johnson and goal. Wallace now on the left-hand side. Jamie Wallace. And Avenel McGregor back in the center. Sainsbury back on the right. Beattie and McKenzie still with their partnership in the mid. Right now, Brindle's still on the left. Krasnicki has replaced Ray Devaney on the right. Monroe has replaced MacArthur up top. And Jones is back as well. Let's get to the match. Avenel actually asked, uh, we had an offer for him, and it was for his value, which was like $1,400, but it was for a team in League One with us. So, but, and, and I said, no, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to help another team in the league. He got mad. Now, this was right before the official, we were still showing up in League One, even though we had already gained promotion. And But right before the schedule started and everything else, Jones with a volley grade hauls it in. Um, so I said no. He got mad, and I said, what's the deal? And he goes, I want to play with a, oh, an own goal, I think. Yep. Jack McCann headed it into his own net. Ouch. We'll take it, but that's uh, that's brutal. Puts us up 1-0. And, uh, you know, and then, of course, then we got to the promotion point where it switched over and we appeared in League One. Oh, Jones misses another one. Um, and then he came back and, and said he was okay with, uh, with staying with the team, you know. And he lumps it out for another corner. All right, they look a little pressured, so let's... Uh, Let's push forward. I have not had that little thing happen where the keeper kicks it into the into the. Ooh, there's a header by McGregor. Nice job. Midfielder gets on the score sheet. First goal of the season for him makes it two nil. Where was he lined up? Oh, just right outside the six near post. You gotta like that. Oh, well, here's Monroe. And Mark McKenzie puts in a, his second goal of the season. I don't know if that if the keeper got a hand on that or if it hit the woodwork. Let's see if we can watch that again. I think the keeper got, I don't know, but it was just sitting there. That was the easiest tap in McKenzie will have all season. Let's go ahead and give him some early praise. 
Krasnicki working on his match fitness. Oh, do I need to reset that? Key highlights. That's correct. Replay. Faster, very fast. Notifications. Team advice. I don't want that. Performance, stats, tactics. All right. We'll do that, and then I'll see, you know, what that changes. Because, yeah, I don't like that shout coming up. All right, there's Monroe. Oh, some good ball work. Monroe, and he banks it off the keeper, off the post, into the net. First ever goal for Bonnie Rig Rose, and it's 4-0. Now, this is a team that's picked to be relegated, so we should and pretty heavily. They were, what, 100-1? to one? So we should beat them pretty handily. All right, we're going to make it into halftime here, nursing a 4-0 advantage. All right, and Krasnicki. I'm probably going to sub him off kind of early because we're still working on match fitness. So I think maybe here in about four minutes. Oh, there's another header. Looking to break this one open. All right, let's go ahead and pull him off for Ray Devaney. I still want to give him a lot of games and a lot of game time. He will probably be a sub, and then I will probably mix him in at left while he's training for that. Um, Callum Monroe, Brindle. I kind of want to bring... You know what? Actually, let's undo that. I'm going to move Brian Jones back to mid-right for Krasnicki. And I'm going to bring McArthur on. Let's do that. And let's go ahead and put Ray Devaney in for Bobby Brindle on the left side. We're going to have him training there. But if he can get some game time, that may help him out more. What a save by Johnston. That was a good threat. We want to, uh, we're going to give him some praise. All right, Sainsbury goes deep into the box. Oh, the keeper, Gray, comes out and makes a great save. Oh, Gray just reminded me of Eddie Gray. Uh, I know I've got a couple of guys that like leads uh, on the channel. Uh, while I was getting from the transfer window to the match, uh, I saw uh, an update that Norman Hunter a Leeds legend uh, passed away from coronavirus. Uh, ooh, Donald, that's got to be a sending off. Uh, but Norman Hunter passed away, age of 77. So um, just uh, rest in peace. All right, let's go ahead and make our last sub here. Looks like Wallace is kind of... Fading out. We can put Calvin Jack back there. Calvin Jack was our starter last year that we brought in. So now we're starting to have some some reasonable talent in our in our depth. Not across the board, but you know, is what it is. Oh, Monroe's there and he can't make it count. That was a brilliant header. Little flick on to him. Led him perfectly. Darn. All right, Avenel, he gets back. All right, you know what? We're going to go back to balanced here for the final few minutes. I could have done that about 10 minutes ago, 15 minutes ago. 20 shots to one, 12 of 20 on target, seven chances created, four goals. I am very happy with that, and that puts us up top of the table to start the season. It's early, early doors, but, you know, there's nothing we can do about that. All right, let's check out our mail. Dominant win. Uh, unusually high number of left-footed players. Okay. 
One goal, one assist, two key passes. So we will tell him he did a good job in his debut. Where do we come back? The Earn Brew Cup were supposed to be competitive. I would like to come back relatively quickly. We just beat Queen of the South 3-1. Brora, where are they supposed to finish? All right, Brora is the team right in front of us. I think that would be a good measuring stick match. So let's come back for Hamilton Reserves and Brora. So we'll come right back for that one match pat in, and uh, and then we'll start bouncing ahead a little bit. Guys, hit that like button, subscribe if you don't mind. Thank you again for all the likes and the comments on the videos lately. Much appreciated. Still coming up on that 500 uh, subscriber mark. Uh, as I mentioned the other day, we did lose one, but let me double check where we're at right now. Yep, 497, so we were at 498, so we'll get there. Hopefully uh, hopefully this season, before, uh, before we get to the end of this season, that would be great. Guys, take care. Appreciate you hanging out, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.